familiar with the TV series Star Trek. A lot of you are young, you may have not seen Star Trek The Next Generation, but I'll tell you a bit of the story. That thing that you see in the sky there, just orbiting Earth, is what's called is a Borg cube. Now the Borg are these aliens which are a mix of a cybernetic device and human beings. And what they do is they go around the universe, they land on a planet and they assimilate all the people from that planet and they link them in through cybernetic devices. Very, very interesting. And so, when you think something, everybody else sees, can hear what you're thinking. So, very interesting. Now, this is the world, or society, I reckon, is becoming a bit cubed in, as I call it. So, you imagine the world, instead of being the shape of a sphere, being the shape of a cube. This is a Borg. Okay, so as you can see, it's a human being with a cybernetic device attached to them. And what's happening here? You familiar with this technology? Google eyeglass. It's already here. So these people that created the Borg in Star Trek probably came up with the idea, and then the people at Google are actually making it happen. Okay? So we are moving towards a society a bit like that. Now, the Q, as I call it, and in my book that was published in 2005, which is called Your Attitude Determines Your Altitude, How to Fly Out of the Cube and Gain Your Freedom, I came up with this concept of the cube. And as you know, a cube has six sides. So let's have a look and see what the sides are. The first side is your atmosphere. And we'll go into detail of each side in a few moments. Then we have education. This is what you're receiving here at university. Money. Then we have media. Then we have health. And then we have attitude. Now, the interesting part about the cube is that the first five sides of the cube work from the outside to the inside. The only side of the cube that works from the inside to the outside, therefore the one that you control, is your attitude. So this is where attitude, mindset, as some people call it, is really, really important. And that's why the people that we discussed before, it was their mindset. It's not that Chuck Yeager was a better pilot than his colleagues that died. He had a different mindset. He asked himself.